Walker. All right. How are we doing, everybody? This is going to be just a short, and I was bitching at a, yeah, whatever I was bitching at. Anyhow, uh, this is just going to be a short tutorial thing. I know that uh, Legends is going to be coming on soon. So we definitely want to uh, be done before he comes on. So this is a tutorial. This is mainly for uh, Bernie Strong, but I know there's a few of you out there that do play baseball for Windows, and maybe some people will catch it on the flip side. So, how to work with seasons, and here we go. There is Bernie. So, this is mainly for you, Bernie, but yeah, we have a few Baseball for Windows players out there. So, Baseball for Windows is a great program. Um, however, its modularity can be um, kind of weird. All right, so we're going to just pretend that nobody knows how to use this. So when you buy a season from APA, when you create one from the Fan Park Encyclopedia, if you're a longer time user as I am, so I do have that ability to do it. All right, so let's pretend you've downloaded a zip file. You bought a zip file, and it's going to be one of these guys here. All right, so you're going to unzip it. And here is the directory. So and you, you can see it up here. Um, so anybody you want to pause your screen or, or pause the video to write this down so you remember, it is uh, whatever directory that you have Baseball for Windows installed to. And um, APA strongly recommends that you put it on your C drive. And so do I. I've tried putting on my D drive and a couple other drives, and it works best in your, in your C drive. And it, it's, I mean, it's, the game's only like four or five gigabytes in size, so that's not that bad. All right. So it's C, users, so in public, public documents, APA games, baseball. All right. So in other words, when you go through that, when you get to baseball, just double click it. This is where all your seasons um, should be unzipped to. Okay. That's where APA is going to um, look automatically. All right. So that's that's the easy part. OK. And they will have seasons will have a dot WDD. So usually like so for mine, you're saying uh, it will say like U dash 1920.wwdd. Um, if you buy them also, if you buy seasons, it'll just have the year, but it's dot WDD. All right. So now you've got that done. So now the next thing that you want to do is you want to name your team. Okay, so Advanced Draft is a very, very, very powerful tool. I've done some tutorials before. I'll do them again um, on how to create different types of leagues. So whether that be all-time great team leagues, great teams from all over baseball, or doing something like a McGreevy thing, or if I wanted to actually, and I will do this at some point, do the APA Bats League in APA, because why not? All right, so... What's important to remember about baseball for Windows is because unlike every other baseball program out there in which everything is done pretty much from one screen. So that's action PC baseball, out of the park baseball, uh, diamond mine baseball, uh, pure sim, old time baseball, baseball mogul, um, all those games, Dombrov, everything is pretty much done from one screen. Okay, Dombrov, Dombrov's semi-modular. This one is modular. All right. So what you're going to do is you are going to open a league. Now, we started this last night with 1904, but I'll just pick another one. All right, just a fresh, fresh year. Um, and let's go to 1929. I don't think I've done anything with 1929. Yes, I have. So let's go to 1930. Why not? All right. I could do one of the teams that I, let me see. Yeah, because that's when I've created the best of the 1930s. So let's go to 1930. All right, good. So you're going to open that. And so in advanced draft, you're going to see that this is broken down into organization. So organization, you think of that as your overarching everything. The organization contains everything. It contains your leagues 
visions teams, all right? So this is something that throws people. So what you want to do then is right here, you'll see it's 1930. We have two leagues, no division, 16 teams. Makes sense, right? Double click. Now we're actually seeing the organization kind of expanded out in the second window. So I've already changed the names of, of the leagues. So usually it'll just say League One, League Two. Again, that is just for, hey, it's a Cooney. There we go. Hey, for the benefit of Mr. Kite. Uh, there won't be a show tonight, actually, since I saw that Legends is going to broadcast. So I'm not going to try to compete with uh, MLB the show. So ah. anyhow, so to get away from, and you got to ignore the Red Sox there because I think I was using 1930 to demonstrate this to somebody so that you can actually use team names and everything without licensing. Um, and this is the same with Digital Diamond Baseball. Um, where you can't use logos or actual team names or anything like that, you can use city names. Now, you'll notice when you open up an older season, um, and I'm doing, again, mainly this is for Bernie because he's, you know, I know that he just acquired some dead ball seasons. In fact, pretty much all of them. Um, that you will see a few teams' names. So in this case, we have the St. Louis Browns, Washington Nationals, and the Brooklyn Robins because those names are no longer in use. So in baseball. Right. So you can you can use those. Well, Nationals is. But when this game came out and it only goes up to 1997, as far as the base, as far as this goes, um, we do have the Nationals now. But then the Nationals didn't exist in 1997. OK, so we already have the Red Sox named because for some reason I had named them. Don't know why. All right. So we're going to, what we're doing now is we're going to get everything set up from scratch. So we're going to move down to Chicago. You can, you can use your cursor keys. I like to do key, uh, keyboard shortcuts for this. So keyboard, uh, your, your cursor keys go up and down. When you get to a team that just has a city name, just do control R, go to list. You don't even have to click list. You know that you want it to be the White Sox. If you're making fictitious teams, then use the list. The reason for that list is it has every name um, as far as cities, teams, whatever that Ernie Harwell would say. The other thing is when you have cities with two baseball teams, um, it's really, really important or, you know, that you, that the initials down here, they have to be unique. So what I usually do is for CHI Chicago, I had an A for the White Sox. White Sox are done. All right. I know this is going to get boring, but that's OK. Repetition is a good thing. All right. Cleveland Indians. Click OK. All right. And Detroit, the Tigers. OK. All right. And all this seems kind of crazy, but, uh, you know, there we go. All right. So this is 1930. So it will be the Yankees. All right. Now we're going to run And again, you can use your tab key to actually go down here. You don't even have to really touch your, your mouse if you want. Now, we're going to have, so we have two New York teams. Now, I could just leave this as NY and then just make sure to rename the Giants initials, but I'm just going to put um, NYY. Um, you should put them in capitals, by the way. All right. Next up, we have Control-R, Tab-Tab, Philadelphia Athletics. All right. So, and of course I misspelled it because it's been a long day at work. Athletics. There we go. And again, because um, this is, uh, we're two, there are two Philadelphia teams, just put an A after it. Click OK. Get out of the Browns now. Just start using my mouse. So, there's just, just so you can go. And Browns are fine. But I do want to put an A on here to represent because St. Louis Browns, whoops, what am I doing here? St. Louis Browns were an American League club. Okay. And then um, the Washington, so they were named alternately the Washington Nationals, Washington Senators. You can do what you want. It's it's your thing. Hey, David, and welcome. I uh, saw you made it onto the Discord finally. That's good. That's good. That's good. So just for, just for giggles, we're going to change this to the Washington Senators. Okay. So it's again the same thing, right? All right. Now. Just so that you don't, and, and so you don't lose track, which is really nice when you see something that says um, changed, just save. So save your data disk. Okay. Oop, there we go. So now we're going to go to the National League, do the same thing. 
rename Boston. Oops. God, I, I shouldn't be doing things that I have to type after a long day of work. Boston Braves. So now I don't have to change because I have a Boston Red Sox, but I'm going to go ahead just because it's a good thing. Let's put them just B-O-S-N for National League. Brooklyn Robins are fine. Chicago Cubs. Okay. And then let's make this C-H-I-N, or you can make it C-H-I-C, whatever you want, just to differentiate between the two. It doesn't have to be a league initial. All right. Trying to hurry here because I know that uh, Legends at some point is coming on and, you know, I'm not going to compete. I don't, well, I don't, you know, if I can help it, I don't like to stream when other people are. I know other people don't care and they'll do it, but I, I think it's kind of rude. All right. Anyhow. Philadelphia Phillies. And besides, I know you guys really, um, you know, you guys really enjoy um, his his broadcasts. They're very professional. And so I don't want to be in the way of that. All right. So Pittsburgh, Pirates. And we can, you know, again, Pirates just had just the Pirates. Okay. And then finally, the St. Louis Cardinals. All right. Again, I don't have to because I've already defined the St. Louis Browns, but I, I just like to just stay consistent. Okay, there we go. All right, select and then save data disk. All right, now before we move on to uh, League Manager, and League Manager is everything. League Manager is the is the beating heart of baseball for Windows. It is the beating heart. That's where that's really funny enough when you play the baseball game, right? When you're actually hearing Arnie Ernie Harwell, you're seeing the ballpark image, the play by play, all that. That so that this is what makes baseball for Windows counterintuitive. That's actually um, not the main part of the program is league manager. Okay, but I do want to show you a couple things. Let's say you wanted to create a draft league. And instead of going through all these renaming, you could actually release every player. So every player from the 1930 season is here. Everybody. So uh, let's look at the A's since they um, won the world championship that year. So there we are. You've got all the Philadelphia A's position players and uh, 11 players in their pitching staff. Okay. From here, what's really neat is if I wanted to show you guys this last night, you can do this in game as well. Um, so if I double click on Mickey Cochran, this card that you see here, these ratings, um, these are for the computer game. These are this is still Appa Master, okay? But here it is. So you can actually look. You can see the type of hitter that Black Mike was, his speed, steal allowance, steal success. If you guys want to talk about how these ratings work, we can do that in another video. But here's the cool thing: if you play cards and dice. All I have to do is view card, and guess what? There it is. There's Mickey Cochran's APA card. And every player in the game, in this game, has an APA card. So whether you buy the season or you create the season, you could. And again, it's like Dwayne and I were saying uh, last night. You were not. I'm not saying that you should do it, but you could screen cap these cards and save them, print them, whatever, and you could play APA baseball if you wanted to do that. There's Aaron Reed and there's Doug Hunt. Welcome in, guys. So do remember this. This is really, really handy. And I know guys like Jester will take um, like card, like, you know, physical cards and then he'll digitize them, whatever, and then just have them up on the screen. So, I mean, this is something you could do. So I would say if you own the season in APA, there would be nothing wrong with screen capturing these. And I can bring up as many as I want, by the way, too. So if I want to view, there's Eddie Collins. So he's, there's, there's the great Eddie Collins. So we got two Hall of Famers hanging out with each other. And uh, this is, again, this is based on the APA Master game, okay? So that's just a little aside. All right. Down here, 493. This is all the players in this league. All right. Um, there's old Pete Alexander. And even from here, Right. So if I if I want to look at him, I can view Alexander's cards and dice Apple card. I can just double left click and look at his ratings for the uh, digital baseball game. All right. Anyhow, we're we're pretty much done with advanced draft now. OK, we see that this doesn't 
And in fact, you can't even save it now. It's it's done. Now, this is where the fun begins. All right. It's important to remember. How do you get this PC game? You go to, um, I'll put the link in the channel for you right now. How's that sound? Because yes, APA stupidly doesn't let people know that this thing is still available. And it is. All right. So I am going to give you the website. And APA's website sucks, just to let you know. All right, there we go. And it is in the chat. Okay, so what is important to remember working with Baseball for Windows? Again, I can't drive this home enough because of its modularity. I can't open League Manager at the same time that Advanced Draft is open. I can't open Stat Master if any of these are open. So you have to close this. But here's what's cool. We're going to go to League Manager now. All right. I'm going to bring it up. And what's really, really fun about this is it knows that I was working in 1930. And if you look up here, it says 1930. So now we're ready to start with the team. So the teams are in here, Bernie. I know you were wondering about the teams. They're here, but nothing is set up. You can't even, you can't play anything, right? If I wanted to play a game, I can't. Everything's grayed out because nothing is set up. All right. Now moving right along. Cause I don't know what time. Um, oh, you're welcome, Doug. And by the way, guys, for anybody that buys this for baseball for windows, I have created some of my own homebrew stuff. Um, like best of the decades and, and baseball going up through, um, I think from the, I don't know, 1900s or 1980s or 1990s. Can't remember which. Uh, but those, I'd be glad to put those up in Discord for anybody that buys these. I've already done the work for you. So, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here with schedule and AIM rules. Okay. So, we can choose as preseason, regular season, quarterfinals, semifinals, or finals. So that means you can set up a World Series super easy in this game if you wanted to. And what you would do is just create an organization with two teams. Uh, the one thing that you really can't do in APA Baseball that you can do in Out of the Park and Action PC is tournaments. This really was, I mean, that just wasn't a thing. All right. So we're going to do regular season and we're going to do 154 games because that was the schedule. If you want to do 162, you can. All right. I'm not going to check any interleague play or anything like that. No wild card, none of that nonsense. Okay. And then advanced injury management. This is super important. And here's why. Because this, this isn't this. If, if you do no AIM fatigue or injuries, if you leave that checked at default, and if you try to use an advanced injury management manager, you're going to get results that are going to be a mess. So I, and I would say always play with advanced injury management because it makes it easier for lineups, things like that. So what I like to do is game injuries and fatigue. Okay. Now picture durability and recovery. This is where you can kind of set up like where you want your pitchers to be. This is 1930. So um, these guys were still going the distance in 1930. So I'm going to set this to early 20th century. Um, down here, I usually don't do this enforced batters, uh, face limits, and no PR 930 for slugging plus percentage. No power rating, in other words. Uh, for a slugging average less than 600, I like to leave that off. I think the power hitters should be the power hitters. Okay, I do use pre-game AIM auto substitutions, all right? And I leave the last one. I don't do any of this pause pre-game if tire, uh, players are available, bushed, itchy, tired, or worn out. But what's neat is there's so much AI in this game and so much going on that a player's performance will be affected. So if you don't, if, if somebody hasn't gotten, you know, pitched a few innings or gotten a few at bats, they'll start getting itchy and itchy can go either way. It's pretty random. It means that they could do really well. They could overperform and make mistakes or they could do really badly. Um, so this is something I think that is really up to the, um, 
up to the player. And I forgot to set this to 154. So you want these two numbers to match. Okay, so we're done with this part. Okay, that's our schedule options. But it's also beginning to set up the um, AI for our managers. We're going to leave this on regular season. Okay, that's done. We still don't have a schedule yet, though. Okay, we're not going to add games. We're not going to do that. Now, there's two ways that you can do a schedule in, um, in Baseball for Windows. If you import a CSV schedule, it's a comma delimited. So if you have a schedule from Digital Skybox, which um, that's a great site, a great resource for Baseball for Windows, literally thousands and thousands of managers on there. I am not, I, there's no, there's no exaggeration. You download a bunch of managers, you download ballparks, whatever. He also has, um, Stephen Galbraith is his name. It's $20 for, it's $20 a year for this. And I've gotten so much for this game. Uh, you can find seasons on there, managers, ballparks, um, as played schedules. So you can do import and it will look for that CV schedule. I just generate a schedule because I, I really don't do um, strict season replays. If I want to do that, that's out of the park in Action PC um, and um, other games that I have. Okay, so I'm just going to generate a new schedule. Now, one of the things that's great, great, great about Baseball for Windows is it has a super robust, excellent help system. It is so good. All right, now we want to play professional style series. But down here, rather than do the math, we have league games versus each team in the same league. So I'm thinking, geez, how am I going to do that? I don't, I don't want to try to figure out 154 and 16 and blah, blah, blah. If I go to help, help screen is going to come up. And this is the generate schedule options dialog. So everything is context sensitive. And down here, generated uh, schedule setting suggestions. Now I'm going to look here. I have two teams, eight teams per league, 154 games. So my answer here is going to be 22 games. But this is set up. This will show you how to put in. So when you have divisional play, if you want to balance schedule, um, if you have there, remember for a time we had 14 teams in one league, 12 in the other, what have you. But for here, we want 22 games. But I want to show you this amazing help system. It's huge. It's, it is absolutely just insane. Okay. You can, right. You, you want to learn all about AIM. There it is. Um, how do I, which is really, really nice. You have an index. There's everything. This is, this is a great, great, great help system. This is your best friend. You can search whatever. Okay. Anyhow, we know this is 22 games for each league. So we're going to do 22 and we're going to 22. So this is one thing too. Action PC sucks at doing schedules. All right. So do I want an all-star break? Sure. Day games only? Absolutely. Okay. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and click OK, and it's going to generate a schedule. Um, oh, zero is not bad. That's because I forgot how many days for an all-star break. Uh, let's say just five days. Okay. Even though there was no all-star game in 1930, it will generate one for you. Okay. Boom. There it is. Your schedule is done. And at this point, um. Uh, it's always good to save your organization. Now, you'll notice when I do select, I can actually play a game at this point, but we're not done yet. All right, let me just check on the time. Legends is usually on around 11, 1130. Okay. Aaron says, um, I wonder what the difference is between the game injuries and fatigue. And uh, So all injuries mean that a player would have a flu. Um, maybe he had a rough night at a pub. Things like that. That's what all injuries. I, I never use that. I used that like some years ago. And I found there's just got to be a pain. You got guys that are hung over. You had guys that caught, you know, their head fall, fell off or leprosy or whatever. I don't know. Being sort of facetious, but never use that. That's the difference, Aaron. I just like to keep it confined to the baseball world. Okay. However, let's just keep going. So at this point, you can play, but you're going to get the same old ballpark. All right. So we have league play. We're not going to worry about this. You don't have to worry about commissioner file. This is if, 
a bunch of you are playing baseball for windows in a league when you create a commissioner file right that's the, everything comes to the commissioner so this is kind of old school we're not going to worry about this let's go to rules all right for american league okay so since we're up here in the american league this is where um again you're going to set your skill level if you're managing this game, I would say always set it at 10 seconds. If you can't decide whether to send a runner within 10 seconds, yeah, right? This is where you can turn on or off designated hitter, intentional walk with bases full, which, of course, we saw it happen to Barry Bonds, but, um, you know, allow bunt for hit, things like that. Now, I might want to do bunt for hit for 1930, okay? Allow an infill hit with third base um, empty. I could. Why not? You know, or allow it in filled in with third base empty, I'm saying. Okay. So enable ballpark effects. Depending upon where you get your ballparks, I don't worry about this too much, but you can check this. Again, this is all, you know, it's like season to taste, as a chef would say. Okay. So now we've done that. Now we can get down to the National League. And you can just switch leagues by, see, if I just click down here in Cincinnati, and if I go to rules, now I'm looking at, at the... Uh, the national league okay and again it's the same thing so if i want to allow a bunt for hitting the national league of course i'm going to do that all right and leave this as professional so we'll click okay i'm just giving you guys i'm a bomb you with a bunch of information so that you can use this as a um a reference please feel free to go back to it okay now how to set home fields all right notice that i'm, I'm looking at the boston red sox schedule all right i go to rules Team home field, Boston Red Sox, okay? Then a menu is going to come up, and you're going to see it defaults to none. So what I'm going to do is, since this is 1930, I'm going to use these older parks that I have for this. So I'm going to look around for Fenway Park. There it is. I get the picture of Fenway, and I click OK. And you can see here, once this comes up, this is for Fenway. Just do the same for all of these, Okay. So again, now I'm looking for Chicago White Sox and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to look for Comiskey. There's Comiskey and boom. All right. So that's how you do ballparks. Um, I'm going to save at this point. All right. And I'm going to show you how to do managers, how to assign managers. Usually I don't. And here's why. Okay. And then we're actually almost done. Aaron is blowing up the chat here. That's all right. Yep. So, Mike, there's going to be a Legends game. I just, I promised Bernie this tutorial, and I, I just wanted to get this done. But excellent. Good to see you, Mike. Um, so, game injuries and fatigue means like a simple injury or he's just tired. Yeah, it could mean a simple injury. It could mean a big injury. We had an injury last night in a game, Tigers and Brewers, where somebody was out for 24 days. So, that's all game injuries. It's not just... So like an action PC, you could just set for one day injuries. This is just injuries and I think is more realistic. So if you enable injuries in this game, um, you can just have player fatigue. You don't have to have injuries, but I, I, I think that it's unrealistic. If you're going to play a baseball season or whatever it is, I think you have to have injuries turned on. Okay. Um, do those parks come with the game? No, the game comes with like six parks or seven parks, but if you get the game, I will hook you up with a ton of ballparks that are ready to go. Okay. So no worries about that. Yeah. These, these parks that you're showing are that I'm showing do not come with um, baseball for windows and making your own parks in this is really super weird, super, super strange. So um, I would suggest just, you know, get them from me. Um, I, I have a lot of ballparks for this game. I don't have them all, but I have a lot. I, I've, I've been trying to work on, I'm like one step from completing the process of being able to do my own ballparks, but there's one little thing I'm missing and I can't figure it out yet. Once I do look out, I'm going to be doing ballparks for this game like a madman. All right. So we've done all these rules here, but we're, we're, we're still not done. So we're going to go now to lineups and we're back at Boston. All right. So lineups for team, Boston Red Sox. All right. Now, I, I told you guys that I don't assign managers. And, and here's the reason why. If you want to do a season replay, so Bernie, for instance, let's say you wanted to do the 1930 Red Sox. You would not sign 
an ad a manager to the Boston Red Sox, but you would assign a manager to every other team. And then you would just be managing the Red Sox. Uh, let's say um, you wanted to. So in other words, you, you only assign managers to team teams you don't want to manage. However, what I like to do is I like to leave them unassigned because when you go into the game and you'll hit auto and then at that point you can assign a manager at that point okay um but i like to leave this at manual but just to show you how to do it if i do this as auto and i'm gonna manage i put a manager in here and you know again this is up to you i'm just gonna put john McC johnny mccoy he's good for the 1930s if i click okay now you're gonna see above the ballpark the name mccoy that tells you that you have a manager. So you won't be managing. In game, you could switch out. But this is how now, if I select and save organization, okay, I've got to get, let me see, Boston's playing at Philadelphia. So let's go to Philadelphia just to show you what will happen, how this will change. Line up for team, athletics. Again, let's go to auto. And I will put in Connie Mack since I have him. Okay, click OK. Now... If I select save, now look, now I can play automatic games in the background or as a spectator. Why? Because two of the teams have assigned managers. So when you don't assign managers, automatic games never come up. So this is, let me try to encap, or let me try to summarize this easily. If you want to be able to watch and or manage any game in any project that you're doing for baseball for Windows, you do not assign managers in, in the uh, league manager power tool. Do not do that. If you want to just manage one team, then you assign managers to everybody else. If you want to manage two teams, you just assign managers to everybody but those two teams and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, I'm just going to leave Johnny. Mc Actually, no, I'm not. So because I, 1930 is a season I like. So we go to lineups. Um, and this is going to be um, for team. And again, you're not looking for a manager. I'm just going to set this to manual. And when I click OK, now Johnny McCoy is gone. If I get out here to Philadelphia, right, league play, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, lineups, and I'm going to switch this back to manual. Now Connie Mack is no longer there. Okay. Now, if you notice here, I can only play manual games. But if I would finish with all these ballparks, this is ready to go. This is ready to go. So I'm going to stop here. Let's see. Um, Jamie says, although Action PC, you can have injury set from in-game only to um, multi. able If playing with as-played lineups, in-game um, are the only injuries in effect. Yes, exactly. So these games handle things, handle injuries very, very differently because Advanced injury management in, out, in, in baseball for Windows directly affects how the AI works. And, 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 and unlike, so this has multiple AIs in the managers. Every micromanager in this game is actually programmed. These are actually programmed AI. So that's one of the, the many things that made this such a pioneering game. So there's no sliders. There's no anything like that. And a lot of people said, oh, I'd like to make my own managers. Go to Digital Skybox. You'll find everybody that's managed in baseball. You will find them, and you can put them in here. Um, I've just decided not to. These, The manager, there used to be a um, utility where you could rename micromanagers, but I, I don't really care about that. Um, you can find it, but you've got to be able to, you got to run it in a virtual machine. But again, it's, it's not important. So I could... If I wanted to now, in fact, we'll, we'll jump into a game, but we're not going to play it. All right. Um, you're not going to be able to hear it, unfortunately. So I'll show you just the start screen. So if I go and select play manual game, because why I have no. Oh, wait, I've got to go to AIM. So we're not done here. Let's let's do make sure AIM and schedule rules. All right. Just make sure everything is set there. Yep, this is good. This is everything is good. This thing is ready to rock and roll. It really is. Let's save our organization. And if we play a manual game, let me see who has ballpark. So so Boston has a ballpark. Let's see if they're playing today. They should be. Play a manual game. 
So now what happens here is, um, and you are, my mic's going to pick up the crowd in the background. Okay. So we do see here that are the Red Sox. Um, yeah. So they're playing the A's. So you can pick any, any game that you want played on that day. And I prefer this. So when I click this and click, okay, it's going to switch to Fenway park, hopefully eventually sometimes it'll get a little bit. There we go. All right. So now you'll see here that your lineup's already set. If you just hit play ball um, from, from the app of baseball thing, there's a, there's a thing that says play ball. You're going to have to set the lineups. This does the lineups for you, which is really nice. If you want to manage the Red Sox, leave it at manual. If you want an auto manager, click auto and then select your manager. So in this case, it'd be Johnny McCoy. Click OK. And then um, if again, if you want to manage uh, the Boston Red Sox, we'll leave it at manual. We will since you guys don't see it. I'm sorry there's no sound. Um because I, I'm running through StreamYard and I don't have the paid version. All right, we'll leave this manager mode and we'll click OK. And we're going to maximize this window. Now, I have the, the Red Sox out in the field. But what you do to change colors in this game, right click and go to colors. OK, so for the home team, right, I'm going to click here. Home team background is red. And then uh, for the home team text, I'm going to click white so it's nicer to see. Uh, the A's had blue, so they were the visiting uh, visiting players. Same thing, visiting player background. Um, you, you can make custom colors if you want to. And then visiting player text. Again, make it white. And boom, pretty nice looking. And this is how you do a game of baseball for Windows. And it will track these stats. The website out of curiosity digital sky box is in a freaky language can't even read it um i think it's just your software is having trouble with it ryan or um aaron because it's a uh very 90s html 1.0 website so well hi everybody i'm ernie Harvey. you can hear ernie back there i want to show you guys how you manage in this game so we'll do like a half inning hey d scott howard how you doing we're coming to you from out here at the park where the Red Sox will host the visiting Philadelphia. That's You'll do it, Bernie. Today. Just the watch this video. I'm going to be cutting it off soon so that you're only dealing with 40 minutes, okay, or so. Game number one of three here in Boston. The Red Sox take the field here in the first. Manny sends out his squad this way. Todd at first base. Reagan at second. Ryan I could put another mic up there so you guys could hear Ernie, but it's that's not the point of this. So. You can also manage both teams if you want in this game, too. You don't want to let down with him. Max can get on. So most of the Get time, now. thank you, Ernie. So most of the time that you guys see me play this game, I'm letting the, the AI manage against itself. But right here, these are your managing choices, and it's 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 not bad. You got, you know, this is not just substitutions and stuff like this. So you can, um, you know, there's there's uh, swing away, there's. <clears throat> um, I, whatever it is here, you'll see this as we go along. So you can bunt for hit, you get hits and runs, everything like that. It's pretty cool. So we'll just do this. Very set. Here's a pitch. Ball four. And that's the dish is a free pass. That was Bishop's first walk of the season. No outs first. Thinning, one on. Here's Cochran to hit for the athletic. Excellent credentials with a stick. Real speed at first with Bishop on. Okay, now right here, I can choose to hold the runner or not. Okay. Do I want to see, you know, Max Bishop is a 16, so he's a threat to steal. So I'm going to hold him. So that's another one of your options. You can hold the runners or play behind the runner. Okay. Pitch working from the stretch. But right now, that's not really... 
applicable. Other thing I want to show you is up here in options. Um, why not, Bernie? I'm just going to hit you with everything here. You can have baseball for Windows just do the play-by-play. -play. That means all of the stuff in yellow text that he's going to say will not show up. You can do light commentary that will just do kind of like the bare essentials of this game. And But I prefer full broadcast because I like the immersion. You can set the announcer's affiliation so the AI is really nice. Do you want them for visiting team, home team, or unaffiliated? Stadium music and announcer. You can set individual levels. Um, all this kind of stuff. All right? Now, the other thing that's nice is if you want to get out of a game really, really quickly, all you do is uncheck the announcer, click save, minimize the game, and it will autoplay and like a split second. Um, in fact, this thing can play a season faster than action PC baseball. It's pretty crazy. It just blasts through. I could do 1930 here in like five minutes, maybe 10 tops. All right. Yeah, just a little tutorial, Tech Sags. Yep. So, yeah, most of it is instructional. Exactly. That's what it was supposed to be. Um, imagine what modern AI could do with recorded voices. Um, well, yeah. I mean, and so the fact that this does it so well, and I'm going to make a bold statement. This game does it better than MLB The Show. I've been playing this game off and on, obviously, through the years since its release. I started playing this in 1995, and I'm still, still hearing Ernie Harwell saying new things all these years later. MLB The Show, I've, I've, all read, I've only owned the games and I own like five or six editions of MLB The Show. And I've heard repeats already. Just, it's just crazy. So this is for 1995. I think using the announcers, this is still a better game. Obviously, animation and graphics, MLB The Show kills it. All right. So, but anyhow, we're just going to let this go. And I can choose what to do here. All right. I can choose here to pitch out. I can pick, you know, I, if I wanted to pitch out, if I thought Bishop was going to go, I'm just going to swing away. Dash the, get set the pitch. Or just pitch to Mickey Cochran, I should Dash say. Rocks and fires just off the plate. And he issues a free pass. And as a runner in scoring position, that was Cochran's first walk of the season. Anyhow, that's how you play it. Runners at first and second. Here's Simmons to hit for the Athletics. So, and I also know, I also know that you guys are getting, um, that you guys are getting kind of echo back from the game back through here. So, um, I don't want to do that anymore. So we're going to go ahead and stop this game. So again, what we can do, we can either cancel the game if I don't want to play it and that will actually stop it completely. And the stats won't be kept or. I can go to options um, and uh, just turn off the announcer, click save, and then do this. Oops, I forgot to do one other thing. I'm sorry. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, let's go to options again, announcer and sounds. Turn off uh, stadium music as well. Click save. Minimize the game and... It should, of course, it's, it's, oh, I know why. You also have to, um, you also have to set, so right now I'm on, I forget, which team am I managing? I guess we'll find out here. Um, change manager. You have to set these both to auto, okay? So that's the athletics. I need to go through the Red Sox. Where am I? I'm so lost. Set this to auto, click OK, minimize the game, and it pops right back up. That's how quickly it auto plays a game. Really, really nice. And uh, the Athletics pound the Red Sox 17 to 6. And that's it. That's how you do it. And then you exit. When you go back to the league power tool, there it is. Double click it. There's your box score. There's everybody. That's it. That it's it's it seems daunting. Holy shit. There's a lot. 21 hits for the Athletics, uh 16 for the Red Sox. Um so there you are. That is basically how you work with baseball for Windows. It's not that hard. Um
yeah, text, this works perfectly with Windows. I'm using Windows 10. It works perfectly with Windows 11. Um, so don't worry about it not saying anything about Windows 11. It works great in Windows 11. This will work on every 64-bit Windows system. Not a problem. Yep, it'll work in Windows 11. Yep, you can change the box score to a newspaper style to if you want to. Yeah, you really, really can. This is a deep game, and Dan Burke is a big fan of uh, baseball for Windows, as am I. I love this game, like, to death. Um, and again, loving the fact that, um, you know, what you can do here, just, just all the things you can do, looking at the player's actual APA card, everything like that. But as the Anglicans would say, here endeth the lesson. Ha, ah, and I'm orthodox, but there you go. I have some Anglican friends. Here endeth the lesson. Um, and and you're done, man. You're done. So that is, in a nutshell, how you work with baseball for Windows. The only thing I didn't do, I explained the managers, and I didn't bother reassigning the ballparks. If I would ever come back to this, I would finish it. But I don't really see 1930 as something I'm going to do right away, even though it's one of my favorite seasons. You're welcome, Ernie, or Bernie, geez, Ernie, ugh, Ernie Harwell, Bernie Strom. Um, let's check and see if Legends is on next, and then uh, I guess that'll be pretty much it, huh? Because I know he said something about after his work or something. So I don't see, I see 12 of you here. Thank you very much um, for those of you hanging out. And that's Baseball for Windows. If anybody has any questions um, about any other digital games that I can maybe answer, um, I certainly will. Or if you want to put in Discord, if you have any questions, if you just jumped into Out of the Park Baseball and you're like, oh, my God, or would you like to learn how to do some really detailed reports and things and tricks in Action PC, uh, working with database management and Diamond Mine Baseball, how to create leagues in old-time baseball, if you have that, how to create all-time leagues and, and draft leagues and everything like that and baseball for Windows, uh, just let me know. Um, and if not, that's okay. I just hope that this uh, tutorial did help maybe people wanting to buy baseball for Windows, people that do have baseball for Windows. Uh, the other thing I do want to show you guys, and then I will um, get out of here uh, just because um, legends, I'm going to bring over my browser and show you a great great resource this is called digital skybox cost you 20 bucks a year and this is like really the resource um it's a very badly designed website so but it's there's so much content in here it's amazing i'm a member there are some free things that you can get all right but i'm gonna go in here just really 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 quickly to show you um so because you have a manager list okay so first look at all these replay managers that you have right this is crazy and all these guys are available you can get these guys so they have fake names whatever but it will also tell you whether they're an aim manager non-aim i never ever ever download or install non-aim managers because i don't play without advanced injury management so um, if you're playing, and most of you guys in, in the community do 60s, 70s, what have you. Um, so they're all here. So, And you do want to get the proper managers. Over here for draft leagues, you've got a ton. And some of them have their real names. So you do have uh, some versions of Billy Martin. And these guys are all AIM, man uh, AIM managers. Okay, We're going to go back and let me show you. Um, I'm going to go into the members entrance as soon as I find it. This is, again, it's, it, it really does need um, a, uh, let's go to the managers dugout first. So latest free and for purchase managers, just insane. You, you want, you want managers for this game. They're here. Okay. There's the members entrance. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, click entrance and boom. And you don't know my passwords. It doesn't matter. So we're here. Okay. It looks like Steve's actually doing some, doing some work on the website, but look what's here, man. All the fan managers are in here. So fan managers, APA, 
one of the other reasons why I think it's a marginally better company anyhow than um, Strat is so people made fan managers and all of these fan managers, APA has a utility on its website. You can download it and you have what? You, you can install these managers. There's like what? Four, I don't know how many more. There's, there's more. There's individual fan managers. You want season discs. There's some season discs already done. There's some special discs that you can do. Hall of Fame managers. I really suggest getting these. You got Stengel, McGraw, Weaver, McCarthy, Anderson, Herzog, Harris, Mack, Torrey, LaRussa, Southworth, McKechnie, Williams, Cox, Austin, and Lasorda. Whole section here um, on Negro Leagues. You want some Negro Leagues managers? Have at it. Um, you know, there's there's all kinds of Negro Leagues teams, um, and this is it's just amazing. And then it will link out to some really, really nice uh, things. Now, here's another thing. This is nuts. I haven't worked with these yet. Manager cards. So manager cards are something that is really, 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 really cool. Um, and I want to show you guys what these what these are because these are weird. When you download one of these zip files, you actually the manager's carded and you put him in there. It's 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 kind of weird how you do it. Um, the instructions are here, and this is where thousands of managers reside in here. All right. Let's go down here. I talked about season schedules. So these are the CFZ files that you need, and you can import a schedule. So if you want to play, um, let's see, we're doing 1930. Is that available? Um, it isn't, but I've used 1929. All right. So you could download 1929 and import it, and it'll work for that 1930 season, and it will show the pictures. So he doesn't have everything available. Um, ballparks are a little bit sparse. Um, you can see there's some ballparks here, and there's more ballpark files here. And then there's another site that I'll show you another time. So uh, there's, there's enough ballparks here to get you going. Um, but you know what? This is just an amazing, an amazing site. This is this is really, this is, this is it. This is it. So um, if you're a baseball for Windows player, Definitely do this. And then there's the free APA zip site, which I'll show you. And then I am closing this off. So if we go get APA, uh, blah, 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 blah. Is it APA? It, it, it does. It, APA, I think I'm just going to do APA zip. I can usually find it that way. There it is. This is the APA files download site. And of course, I don't care about the other sports. Um, but let's go to there's baseball. So there's some data disks you can download here. To get you going all right um also 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 some documents how to do certain things if you want there's if you want actual rookies and transactions somebody did it at least for the 1950s i don't even know how if this is even still whatever here's some managers that you can get as well but all those are also um available um on digital skybox um, you want stadiums, current major league stadiums. Look at that. And what's nice about these guys is these already have the ballpark factors built in. They're all here. So there's only a couple parks missing, really. Um, one of them, which drives me crazy, um, of course, is Cleveland Municipal is not in here. So unless you can find it out there, your choices are just use whatever backdrop or, um, you know, try to make a park. But making a park is super hard or just buy the park uh, from APA. They're six bucks each, but here is the fly in the ointment. Um, John Herson had promised way back in April of this year that everything was going to be made uh, as a purchasable download. That has not happened. So if you buy... A ballpark from APA, you get one ballpark on a CD. One. So you buy five ballparks, it's five CDs. It's really stupid. All right, so there's the current parks. 
Um, and then for historic ballparks, you got a pretty good bunch of ball, uh, historic ballparks. And then you got some minor league stadiums as well. So two excellent resources for you guys to uh, check out. Uh, yeah, an exhibition in Toronto is not in here. Uh, but let me show you something because I was explaining to you how hard this is to do ballparks, to create ballparks in this thing. So let's go back to AppaZip again. And th this will give you an idea. So this is why you got to love action PC baseball. That is like the easiest thing to um, do your own ballparks. Okay. If I go to documents here, all right, I'm not going to read the whole thing because it will, it will hoit your head. It'll hoit your head. Um, where the hell is it? Or is it utilities? This is what we put under utilities. Maybe they did. There's, there's some neat utilities here. Okay. So how to create stadiums from images. First time I'm thinking, it's like, yeah, baby. Well, huh. This it's, it's really, I followed every instruction on this and it there's, it's still, I'm still getting an error. Um, this is really, really a, it's not well written. Once I figure it out, I am going to rewrite it and post it up on the uh, Delphi forums where APA's forums are. So, um, but if you want to have a try and you have a better look, go ahead. But it's it's not very well written. I found a better description of it, followed that guy's description, still doesn't work. So still missing something. All right, so that is pretty, yeah. So every, not everything in Apple, not every ballpark, I should also say, is not available, um, unfortunately. Um, but there's so many freeware ballparks out there. But we go to the stadium discs, and again, the only thing that's really downloadable, so these fan managers here, um, you could buy these, but you really don't need to because they've been out there forever. So they do have a way to do that. But here's the thing that drives me nuts. All right. So the ballparks, to answer the question earlier, what comes with it out of the box is Wrigley Field, um, Yankee Stadium, Forbes Field, Tiger Stadium, Riverfront, and the Homer Dome. Um, I, why? I, I have no idea. Here is a list of the ballparks, and obviously not every ballpark is here. Um, but yes, it's, there's Toronto. There's the uh, there's Sky Dome for Toronto. You do have uh, for St. Louis. You have Sportsman's Park and um, the the Cookie Cutter Bush Stadium, and then of course the new one uh, for San Francisco. You have Pac Bell and the Stick for Pittsburgh. PNC Park, which you can already get, but there is Three Rivers. But if I want to buy Three Rivers, it's going to be six dollars on a disc. So. Um, it, there's a paucity of ballparks for this game. And that's kind of, that kind of drives me to distraction. Um, yeah, now they're $6. I know, Dan, I know. And yet, no, Three Rivers is in here, Aaron. Three Rivers is here. Three Rivers is definitely here. There it is, Three Rivers Stadium. But you can get three rivers from the Appa Zip site. So, but there it is. Now, I will say that the Appa parks look really nice. Not that the home brews don't, but these look nice. They really, really do. So, um, but I, I, I don't, I don't worry about it too much. I don't do a lot of replays. I don't really do anything after 1949. So, I, I'm not kicking too much about the ballparks. Um. That's it. It would take me one week to revamp this website and make everything as a downloadable purchase. And I, I, I just wish I could get hold of John Herson. I could, I could really turn this thing around. I would do it just for baseball, though. All right. So first game was Appa, not counting the uh, Spinner game, right? So yeah, that's yeah, it's I, I think three hours is on there. I'm not gonna go through it again. I wanted this. So Bernie, you know your tutorial ends at about 38 minutes. <laughs> and uh that's pretty much it. I'm just waiting to see because legends it's about eleven thirty, and I don't want him to think I'm being a like a dick and you know, just like streaming over him or something. 
I'm just looking here on the tube of you, and I'm not seeing him anywhere. But anyhow, boink and boink. There we go. So that is how you do Appa Baseball. Bernie, once you get used to it, <coughs> it'll be second nature. And I didn't want to get in tonight into how to move players from one team to another or how to create all-time leagues and stuff like that. That's a lot more involved. And, and you need to get used to the basics before you can start really getting into stuff like the advanced draft and, and things like that. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's a game that keeps on giving. And you know what? It's a nice game. A lot of times I'll put this on for guys, whether either if I'm tired or let's say – it's I have the rare weekday off or something and guys are at work. It gives them something to listen to and you don't have to necessarily interact. And uh, sometimes I'll put I'll put a game on and just if I'm tired, just kind of crash or pick up a baseball book and listen to Ernie call a game. And, and so I love it. And it's this is a very, very, very good baseball game. Uh, don't sell it short. It's it's very good. Um. So, Legends stated earlier he might be back, um, but he doubted it. Yeah, see, I didn't see the doubted part. So, oh, uh, yeah, crashed, and he will have to start the game over. I hate that. Um, when I was doing the 1915 World Series, we had that big kind of blow-up type thing as well. And it was a drag. But I'm not going to finish that project now because Dwayne Martz is doing the World Series. So, it's going to take a while to get to 1915. But, uh That'll be when I can just scratch off the list. I guess that's it, guys. Um, we can just use this as a little baseball chat or whatever. We played three baseball games last night. We did Appa PC, we did Diamond Mind, and then we did Out of the Park Baseball. It was so much fun. Triple header. And we ended up doing four and a half hours of baseball chat and everything like that. So it was all good. Um, we'll wait for a little bit, and if Legends doesn't come on, maybe we'll do something. Comment um, up above was interesting. Do you think AI can replicate the voices? Of yes, there's oh, that technology already exists, Todd. It already exists, and in fact, you can purchase the software to do it. Um, yep, I, anybody's voice, anybody's voice. All you need is or just a few, right, to get a sense of the cadence of the person's voice. And yeah, you can actually do some pretty amazing things now with AI. And I have some stuff like that just in my musician's arsenal, believe it or not. I'll, some night I'll play a track that I wrote and you'll hear a woman singing and um, it's not a real woman, but it, it you would swear I have a female singer here singing and it's not. It's, it's artificial intelligence. I still have to play it. But it's the vocal articulations and stuff like that that the AI, right? So I'm going to have to use music speak. Sorry. So let's say I'm playing, um, you know, a minor chord, right? And she's singing in a minor melody and I'm switching to a major seventh. Well, the AI is going to anticipate that she's probably going to sing the dominant on on a seventh or a major seventh or whatever. Or, or I can say where that has to go. But yes. So companies like Action PC or Out of the Park Baseball, the... Um, the technology's out there. It's 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 actually ubiquitous. So yes, it does exist. Yep. So if that technology, why wouldn't um, Appa try it? Uh, my understanding from Ken Castro, and he knows the Appa guys for ages, is there's not an interest. There's just no interest in doing it. Um, would Out of the Park do it? I th I think Out of the Park. I still think Out of the Park is going to be the company that will try it. Um, you know, they're they're kind of the most cutting edge of everybody that's doing baseball sims. Um, maybe Mark Cohen, though. You never know. Um, but my money's on Out of the Park baseball. I think they're making a move to try to get that game eventually to console. Um, you know, Mike Silva even though he's a beta, I don't even know how inside he is with them, but um, I would bet my money on out of the park baseball. If I had any, that you're going to see some amazing things in the next few years. The game's already amazing. Somebody was saying last night, oh my God, this game looks great. I've got to have it. And it does. It's beautiful and great. 
<laughs> Dan Burke says, yeah, cost money. Yep. Yeah. So John Herson said, Todd, back in Dave Gardner's Digital to Dice uh, broadcast, because uh, Tebow was on there as well, that he really wants Apago to be the nerve center of everything, which is a shame because baseball for windows is, is parsecs better in every single way than Apago. Apago is a dog with fleas. And so I saw another video or saw it's titled another, another YouTube creator saying no to Strat Max. Strat Max, get off my lawn. So um, I think Strat blew it. I do, I do, I do. Um, 61s don't the 61 Yanks don't think out of the park is great at world's worst gamer. You know, I'll tell you what, it is what it is. I mean, it's it sucks, I agree, but you know, again, one season I would say play and it's a fast enough engine, maybe get a larger control. Um, but you know what, a lot of people bitch about AI, but how many human managers make mistakes? So, um for me, I'm not trying to replay a season. I do want things to be reasonable. I know you've shown some things where they're not. And I know you've had issues with digital diamond baseball and others. I don't know. Um, but I know it's got to be frustrating. It's got to be frustrating. Um, I guess it, it really depends, my friend, on how you want to approach your baseball, I guess. So um, I've the season replays I've done and out of the park baseball have been scary accurate. So, you know, I guess it's one of those, your mileage may vary, my friends, I guess. I don't know. So you did two seasons. Yep. Baseball for Windows is the master game, as Dan Burke says, and Apple Go is the basic game. So you have, you already, uh, and, and I think there's only like four choices you can manage in Apple Go. One ballpark, no sound. I don't, I don't know, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, Dan Burke says, there was someone would buy APA and invest some money into it. Dan, you know what? I'm writing a book right now just to prove that I can't write. But if for some reason I'm going to send this on and if it would get published and I'm just saying big ifs, 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 if it would end up being a New York Times bestseller, I'm telling you guys, I would make an offer to John Herson. And if he'd be willing to sell the company, I would buy it and I would hire some kick-ass programmers. I mean, even though I'm a graphic artist, I would even hire some graphic artists and either use AI technology or see what it would take to get somebody to pick up where Ernie Harwell left off. This is a great game. And I wish Mr. Hurston, with all due respect, would realize that he, especially seeing the blowback with Strat Max, he's got to see that, that he's made this is a bad decision bad decision this the baseball for windows is a superior game he talked about it for like 10 or 15 minutes on the digital dice podcast but it was almost as an afterthought but he did promise his fans that every but everything would be made into a downloadable purchase which is super easy to do it's super easy it's just zip up the files and you buy them. I mean, a magic shop that I used to be part owner of, we used to use Yahoo stores, which suck. That's what they use. Still, it was easy to do. Um, and we were selling um, in that shop literally tens of thousands of products. So it's 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 not that hard. It's just that, I guess, John, according to Ken Castro, John Herson is APA. That's it. So, And he's made his money. So... Anyhow, Brad, holy hell. It's been it's been like, I don't know, 300 ice ages since I've seen you. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, Todd B says, if John Herson could translate both the basic and master game as a faithful translation like uh, Replay did, the PC version would be awesome. Yep. And go on Steam. It didn't hurt out of the park baseball. <laughs> And it certainly isn't hurting digital diamond baseball. Um, Jamie says nothing against uh, existing games like app or strat. You don't want them to go anywhere. Right. Yeah. But at the same time, we need to break the chain 
and maybe an entire new concept in this hobby, especially PC. And uh, yeah, well, Doug, I first have to write a bestseller <laughs> or hit the lottery or write a number one song. And uh, well, right now, hey, the Beatles, though, the Beatles are number one on the charts. So my favorite band back on top here. Um, how many years after they broke up? <laughs> eh, 50 some years since they broke up. Jeez, that's crazy. Um, but anyhow, I would I would do it, Doug, if I had the money. I would I would buy Appa. And and you know what? Could keep Appa go going, but I'd be like, you know what, guys? We're gonna redo Appa. And one of the first things I do for baseball for Windows every season would be free. It would come with every season. Every season. I wouldn't charge for seasons for this game. Um, I'll bet you Mark Cohen is making more money on his PC game than baseball for windows is making i'll bet you well how many of you guys now and that there's guys in this community that would not have touched a digital product until but mark cohen put in the board game companion and oh my god i'm seeing all kinds of people playing digital diamond a lot of people are playing out of the park baseball because it's given you everything and again back to digital diamond mark cohen said on a saber stream he said the data is the data are out there. Why would I charge for seasons? It's not hurting them. So, do I like the Beatles song? Yes, I do. I I really do, and is it's because of the history behind it, Brad. So first, the cassette that Yoko had given to Paul, it John had written on there for Paul. Paul McCartney said that the last time he and John saw one another, as Paul was leaving the the coda, they hugged. And John Lennon said, old friend, think of me every now and then. And the title of the song is Now and Then. So, yeah, I do love it. Um, is it up there with, you know, the Beatles' great, great classics? You know, it's not Strawberry Fields. It's not Penny Lane, Let It Be, anything like that. But I think it's an excellent song. Um, yeah. And, and so, you know, it's beautiful, the arrangement. Um, and, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, classic it's, 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 it's more a Lennon song than a Beatles song, but I think it's a nice way to go out. Yeah. And it's on the new red and blue compilations, which are, um, which are topping the charts already in the UK and they've just been released. So good stuff. Digital diamond is great for the money. You can't beat it. You cannot. You can't. Digital Diamond is amazing. I mean, what's that, that game cost? Like, what is it? Is it 20 bucks or something? Where's Steam? Let's bring up Steam. Got a good crowd in here tonight. I'm just really waiting to see what Legends is going to do. I mean, we could have done a game, but what was the song Paul sang solo about, John? It's called Here Today. Yep here today and mccartney when i saw him play it live in concert he's still choking up i mean the, the relationship those two guys had the two greatest songwriters in rock there it is here today yeah hey pib how you doing dan burke said he would buy he would buy appa too oh my god hell yeah no uh no ifs ands or buts on that you know, I mean, I just, you know, APA has always been cool as far as making all its seasons available. They've been cool for we PC gamers and giving us the migration tools so that those of us who do have the fan park encyclopedia and earlier versions of the game, we can still create our own seasons and our own dream projects. With Strat, if you want to play the new game, you got to buy the, the whole game, right? And that's crap. That's crazy. Action PC Baseball, Dave's going to be releasing that probably, I'm guessing, in about a month. So usually right before Christmas. All right. And uh, I don't have to buy the new version of Action PC Baseball to play if I wanted to last year's season. Oh, Black Book, I have this. I should, uh... oh, wait, I, I got to buy something here, I think. Yes, I do. Hang on a second here, guys. Because Black Book is a spooky, spooky, neat game. 
Uh, let me see. Do people like it? Battle against Slayer. Do money well. Build your card deck. Unlock new powers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Buying Black Book. The this for endless battles. So have to buy it. And purchase for myself. And PayPal. And then we'll get back to baseball. Sorry, but a Black Book is a, an amazing game. All right, let's go to the library now. And let's look at Digital Diamond. Give everything a second here. There we go. Oops. I went one past it, didn't I? There we go. Let's look at the store page for this bad boy. $24.99. And you get everything. And you get Status Pro Baseball built into it. And we have a couple community members here. Dwayne Martz and our Red Sox fan. Um, their reviews of the game. I haven't reviewed it yet. But uh, anybody who has been in digital baseball for any period of time, you know who Shim Woolley is. And he loves the game. Um, look at that. Thumbs up all the way up and down the line. You really can't beat it for the price. It's amazing. It's an amazing game. I love it. So, Legends, I've been waiting for you to see if you're going on, man. So, Legends, are you going on? That's what I'm waiting for. The tutorial ended at 38 minutes. So, um, mission accomplished there. We've just been talking. I do worry about that. Are you going on? Because <laughs> why not? I'm pretty much talked out anyhow. What else am I going to do? I did four, four hours and 50, 50 minutes of baseball. Actually, all told yesterday, about seven hours is a lot. So everyone streams when they have the time. I know, man. But you know what? The thing is, the vids don't go bad. But I know the guys love to hear a real broadcaster. That's you. You're doing it on MLB The Show. Not only, I don't want to compete with that. I don't like to compete in the community. We're supposed to be cooperative. So, play something other than baseball on the channel. You're going to go on in about 10. So, it won't be tonight, World's Worst Gamer. Yeah, all right. So, World's Worst Gamer, he's going to go on about 10. We're going to find something in the old Steam library. All right. So, um, I have way too many games. So, pick a game. And if I have it in the Steam library, um, I'll play it, World's Worst Gamer. I really want to get back to... Um, Warhammer 40k Inquisitor, actually, because it's it's deliciously dark, grim, dark, violent. Ooh, a mod manager for Galsiv 4. Nice. Name the game. Name the game. In 10 minutes, we're going to Legend's house. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it tonight, though, World's Worst Gamer. We're, we're, I, I'm going to go to... Um, this looks cool. I just picked this up, the Trap Master. This looks really neat. So, I don't know. Whatever you guys... You know, V Rising is brilliant. This game is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I should probably do V Rising, actually, but I don't care. Name a game. Which one haven't you seen? Oh, play Deponia. I've never played Deponia at all. I just bought them. Um, because because Steam had a sale on Deponia. So I I have I've never I've heard they're funny, but you can see everything there. These are new to the library. I haven't even played them yet. A little racing game here that looks cool. Haven't tried yet. Um, Wantless. This is really very dark, very HP Lovecraft, Shattered Heaven. Um, I'm picky, even though this is a big Steam library. I'm actually really picky about what I buy. Era North Chronicles, great game. Great game. There's Talisman. I don't care, man. I don't care. The GameStop of YouTube. Jeez. No, I do not. So I have a World War I game I do want to show you guys. Maybe I'm going to let it play the trailer because it's beautiful. The reason I don't play World War II games partially is because my interest is in World War I, but the other one is I'm just I, – I want a war game to be – this is going to sound funny, but I will play Total War Warhammer because there's – it It, it really – you know, it's more about – war is brutal, and I think war games tend to – um, 
abstracted too much. But this game, I'm going to, I hopefully, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear the trailer for this, but if you can, this is something that's, it's, it's, it's art. It doesn't look realistic at all, but I'm even willing to hold the mic up for this thing. Let's go to the store page. So this is called Valiant Hearts, the Great War. Um, and almost every reviewer that's, that's done this game has said, it's like tears. So let me see if I can move this over here and I'm going to let it just play. And I know the art style might turn some folks off, but here we go. Let's uh, get to the trailer. One day, a farmer, the next, a soldier, sent far from home and torn from their loved ones. These unexpected heroes are swept away into the great war that rages on, always hungry for war. War makes men mad. But humanity can shine from even the darkest hours. <laughs> and those valiant hearts stand up, fighting for love, friendship, and honor. To the point of sacrificing everything. Even their own life. Some made it. Some did not. These are their stories. So that's one I do want to do on the channel at some point. Um, it's it's uh, it's a beautiful game, and it's um, <laughs> it, it doesn't. I mean, there's nothing you can glorify about war, and certainly nothing that you can glorify about the First World War. Um, so, um, and you can see it's uh, overwhelmingly positive on Steam. So, but no, I do have one World War II game which is similar to this. Um, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's, 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 it's very, very dark, but yeah. Yeah. It's world's worst gamer. This game is beautiful. It, it, it really is. It's, um, you know, I've played a bit of it. Um, don't go by that on there. Um, I played a bit of it and it's, it, it pulls you in. It really, really pulls you in. Um, it's not a long game, but it's uh, it is definitely art. <laughs> it is, and 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 you read through these reviews, and these guys are like, I cried at the end, and it does. Apparently, has a very 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 sad ending to it. Um, so yeah, but anyhow, there you go. But yeah, I kind of stay away from World War II games. I might have one or two somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Anyhow. I I do not have it. No, I, I, I don't. Um, I do not have uh, poop in my soup. Um, Everything. Everything is an amazing... Um, I don't want to call it a game. So this is like... I, I don't know. This is shit. I can't explain it. What what it is, but it's 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 brilliant. I'd like to do some Grand Theft Auto in the channel. That would be fun. A uh, No Man's Sky pop up dungeon. What I'm trying to find for you guys, or maybe some games 
like I, I want to try to stay away from the usual suspects. So that's why I'm kind of looking, um, you know, at things like like approaching infinity. This is probably the best roguelike on Steam, and uh, it's 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 an infinite universe. Um, there's Super Mega Baseball, of course. I'm gonna do some Talisman. This game, Warhammer Inquisitor, beats the shit out of Diablo 4 in every way. So I don't know. There's a lot of games on here. A lot. I don't know. There's what 3,000 games just on Steam. So I don't have a life right now. And having a girlfriend that I don't live with allows me to uh, just do all this crazy stuff. So, all right. It's been 10 minutes. We're going to close this crap down. Yes, we are. And we're going to go to Legends House. So thank you, everybody, for coming in. This was a good crowd tonight. Um, we can always navigate the galaxies. Well, I'm going to show you guys Space Engine some night. Space Engine is gorgeous. And, of course, No Man's Sky. Um, v Rising. Um, so V Rising, I have played V Rising. I don't know how many hours I have into it. Let me see. How many hours do I have? I've played this game for 38 hours. It's really, really, really that good. So here, we'll, we'll do a trailer so you can see what it looks like. So this game is totally badass. <laughs> it really, really is. And they just did a major, major update. It's done by Stunlock Studios. These guys are a great, great studio. Um, yep. So I have 38.8 hours into this game. So um, great stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, then I shouldn't show you another game called Vampire. All right. <laughs> but we'll do vampire some night too that's another great one all right thank you to world's worst gamer to todd b legend sports universe um as he's getting ready to go he may already be as i see attendance is uh going the other way which is really really good uh tex ag 75 mike silva um I want to try to get everybody here. Doug Hunt, thank you, Doug, as always, for coming in, supporting. SGJ Jamie, check out what he does, guys. I keep pounding everybody in the head till they do it. It's great. Get Jamie's Jamie's permission someday to maybe show a little bit of what he does. Pib99, thank you very much. New member of our family, David Lando. Third time in, David, you get a wrench. Dan Burke, my favorite Irishman and BBW fan. Brad Church, who... Um, I don't get to see enough on this channel. Kind of like JT Dutch. Always a pleasure when those guys come in. Miss Cousin Ken tonight. Aaron Reed. Thank you, buddy. Bernie Strom, for whom the first 38 minutes of this was four. And that is it, guys. I hope to see you at um, Legend Sports Universe. And no... Uh, did you mention... Oh, Factorio. Factorio would be one we could do. Mike, do you like Dyson, uh, Dyson, whatever it is, Dyson Sphere, something like that? It's great. That's a great one, too. 
All right. Yeah, you'll get your wrench next broadcast when you're on. All right. You can show it whenever you want. All right. Thank you, Jamie, because I keep telling these guys what you do, but I got to show you. Show them. All right, guys. I got to go because Legends has some baseball coming up. Until the next time, see you around the batting cage or in some vampiric castle. <laughs> Good night, guys.